three of this Texas tour. I am in downtown San Antonio. Uh, just parked my car. Found a lot of these places where I feel like I'm really from a small city as I'm not used to having to pay to park everywhere I go. Anyway, it's another crazy hot day. Got my water this time. Uh, I'm not sure what this city looks like. Kind of weird. It's like uh, I'm not in the heart of everything, but San Antonio, from what I've seen so far, seems uh, smaller than Austin. Somebody with like you know, kind of no frame of reference because I've never been here. I was expecting it to be the other way around. So. Plan today, I'm gonna go over here and see the Alamo. It's right down the street, about a block. I wanna go do, uh, do the river walk. And I guess there's some boats you can catch there. And I got in touch with an old friend. I think I might uh, meet up with a little bit later. All right, so let's go see what this Alamo thing is all about. I'm kind of weird here. Not come places where you got the big tourist things. I like the other stuff, like, like old architecture. Uh, old United States post office and courthouse. You know, they just don't build buildings that look like that anymore. That looks pretty cool. All right, let's go check out the Alamo. All right, guys, this sun is so crazy bright out here. I can't see my camera, so I'm hoping I'm giving you some good shots. So you turn the corner. There we got it. There we got the Alamo. It's the amazing thing about traveling for me sometimes is I see some things that are really overwhelming and then I see other things to me that are underwhelming I mean it's a cool building but this place is tiny it's just we got the rest of the town around here but the thing is you know like for example when I went to the Grand Canyon I had just saw it on TV and in pictures so I wasn't I didn't know what to expect I thought oh I'm gonna see this gonna be a big hole and I got there just totally blew me away so I get here and I'm inspecting this big giant fort and this place is tiny but you know hey it's cool it's like you know if you go to New York City you feel like you got to see the Statue of Liberty so coming down here to San Antonio I got to see the uh, Alamo and there it is uh, all right let's keep exploring another one of these cool trees that I love so much so I find out they're actually oak trees these things are humongous. Yeah, that's what how old these things are. That's me though. I come down here through the uh, historic Alamo and I'm more impressed by a tree. All right, I'm gonna keep walking around out here. You know, it just wouldn't be a American history if any kind of museum didn't have a gift shop. It's a whole separate building. It's just a gift shop, people. But you know, can't have history if you don't make money off of it. Uh, I was just having fun. There's a lot of cheesy stuff in here. I think I just came in here because they got air conditioning. Let's check it out a little bit. Man, this place is packed. Texas barbecue because you know when you want to celebrate the history of Texas you need strawberry jam let's keep walking around in here fudge thing is there's probably more people here in the gift shop then there are people out there actually checking out the Alamo. American consumerism. It's not about history. It's what kind of junk you can go home with. Yeah, I think the older I get, the more jaded I get. All right, let's head back out and look at some stone walls. What is going on, guys? So I am cracking up. I'm down here at the Alamo. And uh, you can hear in the background got one of these religious nut bags out here street preaching I want to go over there so bad and just put him in his place but 
I'm feeling nice today, so I'm not going to do that. And plus, you know, you can't argue with a crazy person. You know, but people come here to just try to enjoy this place and got to listen to these crazy religious nutbags preaching on the corner. Um, so far at Alamo, I wasn't that impressed. But I'm glad I saw it. You know, it's good. If you go somewhere, you got to kind of see things. So you say, yeah, at least I saw it. Uh, I'm going to go walk around downtown a bit. I, th I think I would enjoy this more if I didn't go to Austin first. Because Austin just impressed me so much. I think I need to get out and find some more of the local kind of things and not the touristy stuff. But I do have to go do the river walk. Somebody told me there's like a $6 boat ride. So I think I'm going to go take that. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's asking if I'm full of violence. Yeah, I want to come punch you in the face and tell you to shut up. I don't know. These people just crack me up. All right, guys. So let's go do some exploring here in uh, San Antonio. All right, guys, I got to get away from this guy because he is killing me. He is cracking me up. Oh, these religious nutbags. So I looked it up. I got about a nine-minute walk. Get down to the river walk. I got time to kill. It's a beautiful day. Another crazy hot day. So uh, maybe don't be any nutbags down there. I can enjoy myself a little bit better. Let me turn this camera around and show you what it looks like. probably should have been paying attention to where I'm at and what I'm doing I just started walking I'm gonna keep walking this is pretty cool it's kind of like a park in the middle of the city well again there's no say I had no idea what to expect I heard of the river walk and I don't think it's be this big huge river it's kind of tiny it's more like a, a creek but it's cool it's like right in the heart of the city and it's got all these restaurants on each side you got the uh, little like water taxis so I'm going to just get out. I'm going to walk a little bit more. Hopefully I can remember where my car is. But that's part of it. I enjoy this part more than uh, like just going to see something. I'm just out. I'm just walking. I don't have a plan. Um, I plan on getting a margarita somewhere. But besides that, I'm just going to keep walking and enjoying this. All right, let's go for more of a walk. Check out this pretty cool building. I have no idea what that is. Let's walk over and go look find out. Beauty of exploring. Check this out, man. I have no clue what this building is. I'm gonna go walk around and see if I can. I just love that color. I love the old buildings. I'm not a big fan of well, some of the new skyscrapers. They look cool, but new buildings never just look this beautiful. So let's uh, probably gonna walk down that way. Yeah, let's go walk down that way and uh, head around that corner and see if we can figure out what this is. Alright, so I walked around a corner I found out what this building is. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, got a Justice, uh, Lady Liberty, Lady Justice, sorry, Kennedy Skills of Justice. Pretty cool statue up there. Statue is named Lady Justice. This is the uh, courthouse down here in San Antonio. What a beautiful building. Walk around and I'll show you something I uh, saw on the side of this building. It's only 88 degrees, so I guess it's, I shouldn't be complaining about the heat too much today. And you got your mark your Freemasons up there. So I wonder if there's a really a Freemason Lodge or a Masons just has something to do with it. That date is weird, it's December 17th. Five eight nine two. I know it's a lot of cold bases. Uh, if everybody knows what that five eight nine two means, let me know. Hey, check out this place. This is one of the reasons why I think it's better sometimes you go somewhere not to do the actual tours. You can find cooler stuff. It's like man, something out of the Spanish Inquisition or something, which nobody expects. 
you know, nerds, you got that reference. You got the old crosses up there on the top. So we can zoom in on that a little bit. It's a cool building. Yeah, check that out. Big giant wooden doors. All right, let's go walk around a little bit more. Check this sign. It says, the remains of the Alamo heroes are entombed in the chapel at the left-hand side of the entrance to this cathedral. There's a few people over there, so they clear out. We'll go take a look at that. Alright guys, we're off to the next stop. You know, I'm in Texas, so I feel like I gotta get some steak. So once again, I get a little bit off the beaten path, and uh, this place has some really good few good uh, reviews about Josephine. It's like <laughs> there's a highway bridge, and it's like right over here to my left. So let's uh, go in and get some eat on. Yo, let's check this place out. All right, so I'm at this steakhouse called Josephine's. And it's weird, if you look in the back, it looks like my seat is tilted. And it is, and I'm going to tell you why. So everything here is tilted because at one time, that big tree over here was alive. And there was a live tree in here. So you can't tell by the floor, but if you kind of look, it's kind of cool. The whole place is on a slant. Um, so I finally got my thick frozen margarita. We're going to get into that. Uh, order me a steak because I'm in Texas. You gotta have a good steak. So we'll get to that. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. I might get out and walk around a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna be up too late tonight because I got that, I think it's a 5.30 a.m. flight. So I'll probably have to leave for the airport about 3 or 3.30 a.m. So maybe I'll just chill at the uh, Airbnb, watch a little basketball and get rested up. I need a vacation for my, my vacation before I go back to work. All right, let's check this out. So I'm um, here and there's this place called the Hay Street Bridge. We're supposed to have a good view of uh, downtown. We gotta climb these steps up over here, head up on that bridge. Yeah, so let's do a little bit more walking. This is kind of cool. Uh, if you look over here, you got those rental bikes. You can just rent your bike for the day. I don't know if I want to go up over that way, take the long way, or just take these steps right here. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Those bikes. If I'm reading this right, though, it doesn't get expensive fast. It's like it's $10 for the first 30 minutes, and then $2 for each additional 30 minutes. It's kind of cool, though. You can just pick them up and drop them off at any station, but yeah, $10 for a half hour. It's cheaper to take an Uber. All right, let's go hit this bridge. I guess it's just a pedestrian bridge. I know some railroad tracks down underneath there. If I was going to be like this old bridge, this looks pretty new. You know, I think it's been old and like it's just been redone. So let's go check it out. All right, so I'm up here on the bridge. There's a sign back there about some kind of civil engineering landmark, but there's a couple of dudes I think they were getting high over there. Let's take this. I have some people here doing their uh, wedding photography. Let's go look and see what's over this edge. All right, so let's check out this uh, San Antonio skyline. You got the big tower. I think it was 68. I'm not sure if that's right year. World Fair and at the time. Things set up until 96. That was like the largest tower in the world. Don't know which one replaced it. I don't know if it had been Seattle or... Toronto, I believe, let's zoom in right there, I think that might be the Alamo Dome, and it's got the city skyline, it's kind of neat, like I said, I kind of wish I would have came here 
before I went to Austin. Austin skyline was just so much prettier, but I think that's because it was newer. This isn't bad, it's kind of cool. Still a little bit more walking. All right, so here we go, guys. I found the plaque. This is a Texas Historic Civil Engineering Landmark. Hay Street Bridge, built as a railroad bridge crossing over, I totally pronounced this wrong, Nueces, N-U-E-C-E-S River in 1881. Then it actually got moved here and widened for vehicles in 1910. Uh, designated in March 2001 by the Texas Section of the American Society of Civil Engineers. So pretty cool. This bridge was originally over a river somewhere and then it got moved here and widened. That's nice, that's pretty cool. This, this is the stuff that drives me crazy, man. It's always something people gotta mess it up. I'm up on this bridge and evidently it's a thing to throw your empty beer bottles on the top of that building over there. Why do people gotta be so nasty? All right, let's see what else we can get into today. Man, check this out. I don't know if you can see this. I have no idea when or where that happened. There's a little bump right there. I got bit by something somewhere. Kind of hard to tell, but you can see right there. There's a big bump. It doesn't itch. Huh. No idea when or where that happened. A little bit of a better view from this side of the Alamo Dome over there. Yeah, Hemisphere Tower over there. This is nice day because it's Memorial Day. Look at this. There's like no traffic, no people. Almost like I got, you know, most of the city to myself. I'm loving this. All right, so let's go drive around a little bit more. All right, I'm pretty sure I look pretty tired. It's uh, about 3.30 a.m. There's my flight. I got to fly into St. Louis first. Parts at 5.35. I'm here at a rental car. There's like nobody at the airport this time of morning. So we can take San Antonio off the list of airports I've never been to. This is just crazy, man. It's like nobody here. It's funny because when I woke up this morning, I had to keep talking myself into, <laughs> okay, this is why you could do this. You save so much money by flying out at the butt crack at dawn. I was so tired. Stayed up last night to watch the game. All right, let's see which way we got to go. It's like we got to go to terminals. So we're going down this way. All right, guys, that was a pretty quick trip through security. It's uh, 3.52 a.m. <laughs> I'm like tripping. This is so early. This is how early it is. Check this out. Even the Starbucks isn't open yet. So I'm going to get uh, gate A11. Just walking past A1. Let's see what we got to get to today. All right. Oh, there's A9 there. So we got to head down this way. So this shouldn't take too long. Then I'm just going to hang out kill some time, uh, edit some videos, wait for that Starbucks to open, dying for a coffee. The thing is, so early, you know, you can't bring anything in the airports with you anymore. It was so early, security wasn't even open yet. There's like 10 people in front of me or something like that, which is nice that we got through really, really quick. So it's four... I think my plane leaves at 5.30. So we'll probably be boarding at about 5. Yeah. I'm kind of liking this. There's nobody here. I got some chargers here. So I'm just going to hang out for a while and uh, wait until that Starbucks open. <laughs> 